The Jungle Book, Mowgli's Rainy Day. There once lived a man cub named Mowgli. Mowgli lived in the jungle with the wolf mother Raksha and the rest of her pack. He had many friends from all parts of the jungle, like the leisurely turtles and the spirited flying squirrels, the chatty pangolins and porcupines and the honest rhinos. But none were quite like Bagheera, the wise panther, or Baloo, the happy bear. Bagheera taught Mowgli the law of the jungle. For the strength of the pack is the wolf, and the strength of the wolf is the pack. And Baloo taught Mowgli to make his own path, a path that sometimes ended in honey. Bagheera pointed out which plants were poisonous, and Baloo pointed out the juiciest berries. Bagheera made sure Mowgli knew when to cover his tracks from predators, while Baloo encouraged Mowgli to relax on the river, no track covering necessary. Most important, Bagheera taught Mowgli to respect all the creatures of the jungle. And Baloo taught Mowgli to stop and enjoy the view. One day, dark, heavy clouds swirled in the sky. A great storm was coming. The rains were good for the jungle, but they could also be very dangerous. Bakira told Mowgli to have something to eat and take cover. The storm would start at any moment. Well, Baloo liked the idea of eating. He was not worried. Rain was fun. Boom! Flash! Suddenly it started to pour. Bagheera took shelter in Baloo's cave. He insisted that Mowgli and Baloo join him. They should at least get under the thick trees, Bagheera told them. That much water at once was bad for the fur. But Baloo taught Mowgli a wonderful rain dance instead. They asked Bagheera to dance with them. Bagheera did not like that idea. Again and again they asked Bagheera to join the fun, but still he refused. So the bear and the man cub went on with their dance. Bagheera sniffed the air. They did look like they were having fun. He took a step outside. It was just as he had suspected. Bagheera did not enjoy rain dancing. After a while, Mowgli felt cold and tired. He joined Bagheera in the cave. Baloo started to feel hungry. It would be much too hard to get honey in this weather. He joined Bagheera, too. The cave was warm and dry. Bagheera had even gathered some of Baloo's stores of food for them to eat. It was marvelous. Later that night, Mowgli thought about how lucky he was to have friends who could teach him so many things. The bear and panther necessities of life.